Hi, I'm Lance Cottrell, Chief Scientist for Intrepid, and I want to talk about web security. So, once again, we're talking about the problems with browser security. And I feel like I've been sounding like a broken record lately, but we keep seeing these kinds of breaches over and over again. And the browser is at the center of the problem. It's the path with which hackers are coming into people's networks. And we're seeing it once again with the recent uh, breach at Hacking Team, an Italian group of security experts that actually build tools for law enforcement and intelligence agencies and others to actually be able to access criminals' computers to gather information and intelligence. Now, when they were hacked, people were able to dump all their internal communications, which turns out to include a bunch of new, previously undiscovered exploits that one would assume they've been selling to various organizations uh, that were their customers. Now, among these have been three major flash breaches. So these are things that allow you to put flash in a website, exploit the flash plugin, and then take over the user's computer. And Flash, of course, is everyone's favorite whipping boy for this. There have been so many attacks against Flash over the years. Uh, it's just an endless font of vulnerabilities. But of course, Flash isn't alone. We know that all the browsers have hundreds of major patches per year on the browser code itself. And of course, many people install all kinds of third-party add-ins into their browsers, which just further complicate the problem. It's more and more of these code bases, which themselves have vulnerabilities and then you have interaction problems where on their own they might be not be a problem but a bug in program A interfaces with an unexpected feature in program B and suddenly boom you're downloading malware onto the computer. We just need to change our entire approach to web-based security. Trying to recognize the attacks is really a non-starter. They change too fast. They're evolving all the time. People are developing new kinds of exploits, re-encrypting them, they're polymorphic. Anything that's signature-based is really already behind the curve. And by the time you've detected it, it's arrived. And behavioral is worse. By the time you detect it, it's already attacking you. So I think we need to be moving towards a much more proactive, preventative kind of approach which says, yes, there will be vulnerabilities, yes, there will be exploits, and my system will still be safe, even in the face of known attacks that will succeed against me. And that's really where we've been coming from at Intrepid. With the tools we built over the years and now with our Passages Secure Browser, we're coming from that point that says, you're going to get exploited. These things are going to work against your browser. How do we prevent them getting in? And we're very happy to see, once again, we're strong against this. Now, the Flash exploit works against all versions of Flash. So Mac, Windows, Linux. Our virtual machine is Linux. We have yet to see a single proof of concept or wild exploit against these Flash vulnerabilities that works against Linux. And simply because it's not the most common operating system. You're going to go after Windows. You're going to go after, if not Windows, maybe Mac, because there's so many users. Linux as a desktop really never attacked. But we're not going to get cocky about that. Sure, almost all attacks are going to bounce off us because we're simply the wrong operating system. But even if they do work against us, we're going to be locking them inside our virtual machine that we burn down at the end of every day. And I think all security tools need to be moving in this kind of direction, where you're robust and able to recover and move on when you're infected and when you don't even know it. You've never detected it. These guys have come in low, slow, they've been subtle, they're using a zero-day exploit that you don't have rules for. You still have to be safe. It's not good enough to be 80%. You need to make sure that all of these things are going to bounce off the network. And so, once again, we're seeing with these latest releases, the browser cannot be trusted, and we have to treat it as fundamentally untrustworthy and lock it up in a box where it can't do any harm.